everybody, welcome back to the channel, I'm Metal Marty Mac back, finally back with a video, it's been been forever and a day, it seems like ages since I've done a, any kind of an update at all, so uh, yeah, I've just been very busy at work and uh, organising the Metal Festival here in Cabin Town as well, so that's coming up in the end of May, at the bank holiday weekend in June, so uh, yeah, so I've been really busy, haven't had a chance, I've been listening to bits and pieces of music that I've got, uh, watching movies, usual bullshit, but I haven't really got a chance to sit down and do any kind of videos. So I'm quickly going to do a, a, just a bit of a death metal update. Like I've got a good few records here, so I'm going to quickly go through them just to get back into the swing of doing videos. I've just kind of uh, not neglected my channel, but I just haven't had the chance. So, um, okay, straight off the bat, let's just go for it. So I've got two uh, two albums up first by a uh, Swedish death metal band that we all know. Missed out in the box set that came out there recently, but I uh, just started picking them all up, just trying to get the whole... The whole collection and I think I'm about three three and, and a demo album away from completing it. So I'll show you the two that I've, I've listened to up teen times. We heard them all before. We all know the band. So the band in question is uh Dismember. So this is DEP Pieces from nineteen ninety two, the follow on from uh, like an ever flowing stream. Absolutely bananas. Absolutely love this. Uh many tracks on this five track EP. It's uh it's re-released on 45 as well and it just sounds absolutely fantastic you all know this member swedish death metal no point going into it too much but it's just fucking fantastic one of the best if not the best of the swedes absolutely brilliant not a bad uh colored vinyl there the red and blacks uh split if we call it but uh yeah really good i was trying to get it back in but uh Came with in Lard, in Lard, in their card as well. This, these were all released on, re-released on Nucleo Blast. Just a very cool uh, head cover. So uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. What a what a brilliant, absolutely brilliant, brilliant EP. I don't know how many times I've spun this since I got it because I just absolutely love it. So uh, yeah, pieces. I wish you hell, carnal tomb, soon to be dead, torn apart. What more can you say? Absolutely brilliant. Okay, then in uh, 1993 they followed up with their. Um, but their second full length, which is awesome, uh, absolutely awesome, half an hour of pure quality, <coughs> Swedish death metal, so this is uh, indecent and obscene, um, yeah, really, really nice job on these uh, re-releases, um, Nuclear Blast, you know Mark and a few people got the box set, so this came on a kind of clear splatter with a load of blood on it, I'm calling it blood just to try to look cool, it's one of those splattery vinyls but uh yeah absolute quality as i said they were pieces just one of the best of the swedes if not the best for me any i think they're just absolutely amazing brutal hm2 stuff uh inlay card with a picture of the boys um yeah not a lot needs to be said about um, this member if, if you're into that metal you'll know this member and you probably have this member and stuff but uh, yeah, Fleshless, Skin Father, I love that song, Sorrow Filled, uh, Kiss Obscene, Soul Devourer, another brilliant song on this, uh, Reborn and Blasphemy, it's all good, Eviscerated Bitch, absolutely brilliant, that's the little sticker on it, the uh, name of the album, but, but uh, yeah, quality, quality start to this video, and there'll be plenty of quality in this video, it's all pretty much old school death metal, so um, yeah. I'll be saying, repeating the same things over and over again. Sorry, just take a little swig of this. Okay, next up. Now, I have this on CD, but I recently just picked this up in the last two weeks from um, Sentinel Records in Dublin. It's just another one of the autopsy uh, discography that I need in vinyl. I'm near enough there. I think I'm just one... Maybe one of the studio albums I need on vinyl and I have them all. I have some of the EPs as well, a good few of the EPs as well. There is some of the splits that it's going to be impossible to get, obviously. But but yeah, so I picked up uh, Critical Madness, The Demo Years, by The Mighty Autopsy. Cool picture of the boys at the back there. So what basically if this is, if you don't have it, it's the 1987 demo and the 1988 demo Critical Mass. And uh, sounds great. It sounds like Autopsy for demos. Uh, there's a... Uh, track at the end of this instrumental, Christ, uh, Christ denied. It's it's a bit rough sounding, but apart from that, it all just sounds like autopsy. I think this was on a standard uh, black autopsy and center label. But yeah, really really good stuff. Some of my, a couple of my favorite uh, autopsy songs are on this. Embalmed, 
and uh, what's the other one as well is on the stillborns aren't there there's a couple of different versions of embalmed and uh, stillborn um but yeah absolutely brilliant stuff it's autopsy you know what you're getting chris reifer uh genius in my eyes in the death metal scene cool inlay card nice little bit of a story it's the story from where is that flipping autopsy book now oh, it's way over there but uh, the cutting was it the cutting the interviews from this book yeah i'm not going too far don't worry so yeah it's a bit of an interview from this book this autopsy uh, cd book uh, blah, 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 after the cutting i knew it was something to do with cutting so it's the four cd book set look at the whole story of our uh, autopsy uh it's absolutely amazing book uh, full of cool pictures and a cool story but uh yeah i'm not here to show you that but i'm just showing you because that interview is from that uh from that book as well but uh yeah that's a cool little book little book it's a fucking ton weight but uh yeah cool that's a that's a that was a great great piece to have uh so yeah back to this awesome stuff uh Human Genocide, Embalmed, Stillborn, Mall to Death, uh, Child Remains, Classic, uh, Ridden with Disease, Critical Ma Critical Madness, going to say Critical Mass, looking if you're a short goal now. Yeah. But uh, yeah, great pick up. As I said, I need the Headless headless Ritual, is it? Uh, on vinyl, I think that's an EP or is it an album? But I need it on here. But uh, yeah, I will get that and then, then I'm done with the autopsy on vinyl. I have them all on CD as well because I absolutely adore autopsy. Amazing band. Okay, that's another one down. Zipping through these. Okay, these guys released a new album on Friday. They're third full length. I think they're an EP out in two albums, which I have now that I bought this one. So this was really cheap. This was about 20 quid on Amazon at the moment. So from Oakland, Oakland, California. This is uh, the second full length by uh, Necrot. So this is Mortal been after this for a while and I just recently I knew the album was coming out the new one and I seen this up for about 20 quid and I fucking dived on it because the first album and the EP is absolutely brilliant it's just old school and what a great cover as well nice embossed necrot logo on that there I hope you can see these all right with the light I don't know how it's working out because I've changed it a bit again this morning as I like to do for some strange bloody reason so this is out in Tank Crimes record yeah uh, seven tracks of old school death metal that's uh proper old school death metal this, this was produced by greg wilkinson uh who we we know now from autopsy static abyss uh, it's kind of a burgundy red blood red we call it just for the fun but uh yeah excellent stuff if you don't know necrock go check them out it's just old school death metal if you're into old school old school death that sort of period of time that's what it is a uh, couple of tracks the second side on this is far better for me i think the title track mortal is absolutely stunning some amazing riffs amazing vocals uh sinister will first song on side two if you don't know necrot go check out that it's just a banging track uh really really good really glad to get that have to pick up the new one uh, it's just still about over the 30 pound 30 euros uh price mark which is a bit too much for me these days i just like to wait i'm not going to die without it so i'll just wait until it goes down a bit and i'll pick it up then definitely then i'll have to complete discography so far but uh, yeah necro uh mortal super record super record for the price that it's at at the moment it's definitely worth picking up okay next one from cleveland ohio now this this was um i've seen this popping around a lot of people i've seen a few people have shown this album so i checked them out on youtube and i thought man this is my kind of old school but new sound and death metal at times as well riff face all over the place on this album this just never lets up it's just under half an hour long this album uh i think they had an ep out i don't know where i'm going to get that but i'll, I'll have a route for it but i uh, absolutely love this brilliant vocals just raw and crunchy and slammy riffs and it's just awesome stuff so this is a uh, 200 stab wounds very much into the vein of death metal i like it's all to do with horror and uh, the first song skin milk opens up with a kind of a an autopsy going on and uh yeah it's just booking pretty nuts and it just sets you up rightly for them for what's gonna what's to come uh brilliant 
brilliant brilliant riffs brilliant breakdowns there's some slammy stuff in this there's all types of riffs in this it's just really good uh toe rope around the neck around the throat fuck me <laughs> some riffs in that is just savage this is out in metal blade records i'm not sure what color this was i think it was yeah i don't know if that's a, a kind of a gold or gray i'm sure that light over there is butchering these records so um apologies for that but uh yeah I'm not saying this is a surprise because I did listen to some of it, but I really, really dig it. I'm looking forward to more. I think these guys are coming to Ireland this summer as well. I don't know who they're supporting. I've definitely seen them popping up on a bill. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping they're going to be checking them out there. So that's the four guys there. We've got lyrics on the back. But uh, yeah, if you're into big, chuggy, crunchy fucking death metal, some brilliant, brilliant vocals uh speedy stuff slows down and it's just just got it all in the space of 27 minutes there's so much going on in this it's just excellent so yeah brutal brutally heavy very heavy thunderous but uh yeah excellent stuff uh okay moving along a few more to do three or four more to do okay next up is an ep seen liam showing this recently uh, yeah i bought this I, I, I got it like a couple of weeks ago I uh, hadn't really listened to it, uh, so this is, um, what would you call it, the reissue of the original Coffin Mulch, Coffin Mulch, for, uh, demo 2019, Boys from Glasgow, in Scotland, uh, so this is three tracks, uh, I think this was sold out, and then it was brought back by popular demand, because uh, Coffin Mulch are, are doing the biz, and a very popular at the moment, their last album was, was Savage, it came out last year, the EP out before, I think it was Septic Funeral, and then they had this demo, I believe, I'm not sure if there's anything else, but yeah, yeah, really delighted to pick this up, pick this up with the Coffin Mulch Bandcamp page, uh, it's the coloured edition, but uh, yeah, some really cool, cool, slimy and oozy looking uh, artwork, which, which fits in very well, uh, At War With False Noise, so this is Al's record, label that he runs i think from al the singer from cough mulch this is old school death metal really really old school really different than the new stuff even the septic funeral was different from the new stuff so the, the sort of this band has progressed and progressed like with all the things but uh, i absolutely love this i'm not going to say i prefer it than the new stuff but i just love this this is just old raw and kind of dirty death metal and it's just fucking awesome really three killer tracks this come on a swirly I don't know what shit stained fucking record. I don't know what what color it is even down this, but yeah, forty five RPM EP three tracks sounds awesome. Sounds really 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 good. So yeah, old school dirty death metal came with an inner. If I can get rid of the record, I'll show you the inner. But yeah, bit rusty. But it's just old age. So there you go, a little card like like looks like a bit something that come off a demo, but it's pretty cool. Uh, Al, Rich, Davis, uh, yeah, and then Fraser's, and yeah, there's a bit of a progress, a bit of a change in the band, so I'm just copying that now, but yeah, I've seen these guys hanging around um, in Scotland at dead of winter, so hopefully, maybe they'll play next year at it, but uh, yeah, it's going to be great to see them, artwork by, original artwork and cough mugs looking by Al, David Gunst is the guy that done the new artwork. I'm just reading that there. But yeah, as I say, don't know if this is still available on vinyl. But if it is, it's worth checking out. Even just go on and have a listen to it. Because it's really, it's different than the new stuff. But it's, it's, but it's excellent nonetheless. It's really, really good. i one of those plastic fucking sticky sleeves, which I don't like. But I'll get it in. That's what she said. Um, but yeah, cough mulch. Yeah, some great pickups here. Really, really happy to be spinning all this stuff man it's some really good death metal okay where are we now golf and mulch okay a new album the 2024 album which i don't have a lot of 2024 albums um that 200 stab wounds come out in 2021 and that neck crop was 2020 i forgot to tell you all these dates so finally a 2024 album and it is some death metal death doom from japan uh, this is awesome stuff the new full length from japanese death metal masters coffins box blood edition out in relapse records savage cover love the colors hoping that that stupid light isn't affecting it too much it's pretty dark on the pack the picture of the guys you won't see it but yeah i'm sure everybody is well aware of coffins at this stage uh slow grimy old school death doom really really 
really really fucking heavy this album is, is, is cracker it's, it's really grown on me and um, the one before it i think i preferred and i just looked up again to see if it was beside me because i can't remember the name of it Um, i recently listened to it as well but uh, yeah at the moment I, I still prefer the one before this but nonetheless this is just this is just quality it's just riff central it's just banging riffs everywhere and um, nice don't mind it don't mind the colored vinyl uh, but yeah absolutely love it coffins what a great band just great vocals and it's just this album's just full to the brim of, of riffs and picture of the guys there um, Let's see if you can pick out a feed track, uh, Spontaneous Rot, uh, it's the Sinister uh, Sinister Road title track, fucking awesome. Yeah, really, really good album, definitely worth checking out if you like the other Sinister st or Coffin stuff, Sinister, Sinister on the Brain, but uh, yeah, really, really good, um, delighted to pick that one up, and uh, yeah, it will be getting more, continuously more spins, and it could very well end up uh, on the end of the year list, but there's, there's some good shit coming out, but um, yeah, delighted to pick up that one. Okay. Two to go, I'm all screaming at the screen, thank God for that. Uh, didn't know this band, I think there might have an EP out. Liam showed this, let me see, a couple of videos passed on his, on his channel, um, Death Doom Metalhead Liam, and uh, didn't know the band. Uh, once I seen Liam's review, I heard the likes of Andy Will, Mick Carey from, from Limerick in Ireland, Zella Cult, I went, gotta try it out. Liam said it was a beast, uh, it was heavy as fuck, and um, he wasn't lying. Absolutely love it. Debt Collector and Debt's, Debt's Toll. Debt's Toll, yeah. So this came out in Prosthetic Records in 2023. As I said, Andy Whale from uh, Boltro and Memoriams on drums. And you can hear him. It's just thunderous fucking Andy Whale drums. It's fantastic. Brilliant vocalist. Don't know the vocalist's name. Too lazy to check. Uh, Mick Carey from Zealot Cult Irish Band is uh, on the guitar. And uh, yeah, it's fucking awesome. Just never lets up this, man. It's just thunderous death metal. I'm on a bloody red vinyl. Not your red vinyl going around here this morning. But uh Yeah, absolutely great album. Absolutely great album. Yeah, it's all good. I mean it's just one of those albums I'm not gonna pick out tracks because I like it all. It's my kind of death metal. It's just heavy as fuck and riff laden and great really grunty vocals, like you know, the vocalist is savage on it. So uh, yeah, I'd love to see these guys live. Maybe that mix from Ireland. Uh, Kieran Scott and vocals. Uh, Lee Cummings and bass. That sounds familiar. But there, yeah. uh, Andy Whale and drums. Uh, brilliant, brilliant death metal. If you haven't checked out Deck Collector, uh, yeah, I really, really recommend you go and check them out, man. There's a great recommendation from Liam. So yeah, uh, once again, never does anything else. But uh, yeah, really, really glad I picked up that deck collector. And if they have an EP out, I'm gonna have to go and search it out because I like that. It's thunderous. I turn it way up, man, and it's just fucking rocking the house, man. Classic stuff. Excellent. Deck collector. New band. Irish, English band. English, Irish, whatever. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. I'm nearly done. There's just one more to show you. Uh, hence the title of the video as well, of the thumbnail video, whatever. Uh, I have this a while now. I was meant to show this a couple of videos back. God knows when that was. And so, I yeah, had it got. I bought it from uh, from Ryan himself, the man behind this project. Um, so this is a, uh, this is completely, this, I left this the last. It's probably my favorite from the bunch. Uh, talking about old school horror, the team death metal. So I've got me all Evil Dead t-shirt on, Necronomicon in the background there. And uh, yeah. Uh, this is the kind of death metal I love. It's just all to do with horror movies and horror. And uh, I know Ryan, uh, sort of the band. Sorry, the band is uh, Seven Doors, and this is uh, Feast of the Repulsive Dead. Even just looking at the cover, you're just taking uh, old eighties horror movie. I just love it. Um, and <coughs> this is a reissue on um, yeah, Redefining Darkness. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what that was, but uh, yeah. So got this rain and I've played it a million times since. Uh, Story to find darkness label. Inside, you've got a picture of rain. So rain, 
the mastermind behind this and uh, Grave Ghoul and Blood Rage. Uh, there is one or two special guests uh, on this doing some guitar solos, but apart from that, Ryan does everything. And this is fantastic. It's just old school death metal, horror themed. Uh, it's just fantastic. If you're into horror or death metal, this is definitely an album for you. I think Ryan might have some CDs available of this um, if you want to get onto them. I'll leave a link to the Seven Doors channel down below and you might be able to get on and get a CD because uh, it's so definitely worth picking up. Tracks on this starts off in a Quiet Night in Cemetery. It's just kind of an intro and it's fucking awesome. Then the title track Feast of Repose of Dead is brilliant. The Morbid Mortician, love the chorus. Uh, Welcome Back to Life. First uh, track on side two is um, I'll Swallow Your Soul. That's where the name of this video came out of because I absolutely love Evil Dead and anything to do with Evil Dead. So it's my favourite song on the album. Hack Shack, uh, The Graves of Matul, the Voodoo. It's fucking brilliant. But uh, yeah, once you have anything to do with Evil Dead, that's it. Takes me in straight away. I mean, also chucked in on this when it came was a Seven Doors patch. I don't think I've shown this already. I'm pretty sure I haven't. I know I had planned to loads of times and I never got never did. But that's gonna go in my battle vest as well, so it's it's pretty fucking cool. Got to meet got to chat to Ryan for a bit in uh, Scotland as well last January. And uh, such a nice guy. Quiet sort of guy and he puts out shit like this and you Yeah, but uh, yeah, what a what a brilliant musician. The inst uh, guitar work on this, the lead work on this is just fucking phenomenal. And it's just full of brilliant riffs and pretty brilliant vocalist as well it's just my kind of death metal and what a great way to close this video absolutely brilliant must have must have if you're a horror and a death metal fan that's it guys um probably a bit ropey and a bit all over the place that but as i say it's been a few really weeks since i've done any kind of thing at all in the background a bit more horror seeing as we're on the death metal trail this morning we are listening to basket case the soundtrack from basket case uh, Gus Russo, 1982 horror movie, fucking gore, slapstick fucking shit, but it's a bit of fun, and I love the movie, and uh, yeah, cool soundtrack, so that's what we're listening to at the moment, in the background, just for a bit of atmosphere, that's it guys, uh, let me know what you think of some of these releases um, in the comments, uh, it's always good to chat to you, and uh, yeah, it's good to be back, I'm glad to be doing a video again, I'm hopefully not going to leave it as long next time. I know I've, uh, I said in one of my last videos I was going to do a heavy metal and doom metal one, which I definitely am. Uh, still shit coming in the door. I've added fucking four. I've added ten new Calax uh, units in here since the last time I was here. Ten cubes, I mean. And uh, yeah, so I've got loads of new stuff to show you. Go try to do videos. Hopefully doing a few live streams. Maybe one this morning. Maybe one with the with the with the Johnny Mac too as well. Hopefully coming up. And um, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in as always. Thanks for sticking with me. I've got a few subs in even even in my quiet spell there in the last few weeks. So they're they're ticking along nicely over the nine hundred, which is amazing. It's always good to know that someone's still interested in your channel. So that's it, guys. Enjoy enjoy Sunday. Yeah, enjoy Sunday, and I will talk to you all. Maybe midweek or maybe next weekend. Uh, but uh, yeah, take care of yourselves and I'll see you all soon. Cheers. Thanks a million. Bye.